now this is a schedule wherein we have given you the price of the product and the relative quantity demanded at these price levels at the same time the relative quantity supplied is also given against the prices so when the price is 5 rupees 6 units of the product are demanded when the price is 4 12 units are demanded when the price is 3 19 units are demanded when the price is 2 25 units are demanded and when the price is 1 31 units are demanded we see that as the price is falling the quantity demanded rises so this justifies the law of demand now consider price with quantity supplied when the price is 5 quantity supplied is 31 when the price is 4 quantity supplied is 25 when the price is 3 quantity supplied is 19 when the price is 2 quantity supplied is 12 and finally when the price falls to 1 the quantity supplied falls to 6 now with each fall in price there is a fall in quantity supplied so this justifies the law of supply supply runs in the direction of price that is supply is directly related to price now with the help of these two things price and demand and price and supply we get the demand and supply curves we plot these points on the graph and when we take price and demand and go on plotting it we get the DD curve the demand curve and when we take the price and quantity supplied and go on plotting it we get the SS curve that is the supply curve and we see that in the schedule there is a point where demand and supply are equal both are 19 19 units are demanded and 19 units are supplied at price 3 rupees so we can conclude that on graph both the demand and the supply curves would meet at this point this would be the point where both demand that is the quantity demanded and the quantity supplied would be equal in other words the curve that is the demand curve and the supply curve would meet there both will meet at this point we've named this point as E And this point gives us the equilibrium price as well as equilibrium quantity. If we run down perpendicular to the x-axis from this point, we'll get the equilibrium quantity. And if we run across perpendicular to y-axis, we'll get the equilibrium price. So this is the point which gives us the equilibrium and this is how the price is set in the market so in this current market the equilibrium price is 3 whereas the equilibrium quantity is 19 this is how we reach equilibrium